This is the boys 17-18 500 yard freestyle. In lane number one there at the bottom is Edwin Welsh, Reno Aquatic. Lane two, Michael Cohn, Win C. Lane three, Andrew Seitz. Lane four, Joe Rigger, your prelim leader from this morning. Five, Frank Horpel. Lane six, Brandon Chandler. Lane seven, Adam Georgeson. And in lane number eight, Connor Stewie. So we were talking about we were talking about the prelim to final drop-offs, but a 437.6 is what Joe Riggert was this morning, and that's a pretty solid 500, so when you know you have a great chance of making it back in the top eight. Yeah, we'll figure out how much Joe Riggert really put into his prelim swim as he's out in a 24.0, definitely showing some more speed than a 437 with that first split, but coming along with him, Frank Horpel making it a race early, and you know if Riggert is trying to put this one away right from the gun, uh, it could lead for a pretty good swim. He puts himself out there on the front half. He's got a better chance to get one of those lower times, and anything under 430 would be awesome to see here tonight. Well, out in a 50.5, he's definitely on pace. I think he might have wanted to secure that finals first place position so that he could get his country music playing. <laughs> he's He's got a gallop right now, and he's got a pace that would make a cowboy proud because he's out and aggressive in this first half of the 500 freestyle, something I'm sure the head coach of Nova, Jeff Brown, loves to see. You gotta put yourself in position to be good, and that's exactly what Rigert's doing here with the front half of this 500 freestyle. You can definitely tell that the effort is there. There's no mistaking his tempo, not to mention a pretty solid kick. Let's just see if he can maintain this type of energy through the entire 500. Well, he's not using much of too much of his legs, so even though he's put out aggressive first 200, 144, 66, I think he's going to have a, a lot from his legs here in the back half. Yeah, the battle at this point is for second. You got Andrew Seitz in three, Frank Horpel in five, and Brandon Chandler, or excuse me, and... Uh, yeah, Brandon Chandler up there in lane number six because right now Joe Riggert way out in front at the halfway mark. He's got about 10 yards worth of lead. I'm going to correct myself on that battle for a second. Lane number three, Andrew Seitz. Lane number five, Frank Horpel. And lane number seven, Adam Jorgensen battling it out for second at this point in the game. Approaching the 300 mark here, he is on pace to be under under a 440. I'm not sure if we're going to see under the 430 mark, but it's going to be close. Yeah, anything 435 or better would be something nice to write home with. You know, that makes that long trip all the way back to Richmond, Virginia worth it. Getting out here and, and busting a, four th a sub 435 swim would definitely be Something proud to end this great meet that Rigert's had with. And it's very challenging in general just to finish a long four-day meet with a 500. So sometimes it might be nice to get those longer races done in the beginning. So it's definitely taking a lot of energy out of these boys to round out a four-day meet here with a 500. Joe Rigert out there all by himself. As you see now, Andrew Seitz coming into your screen. He's sitting in second place right now with 125 yards to go. But this one has been Joe Riggert from the start. Make no mistake about it. He's 4:30, excuse me, 3:36.21 at the 400. So he's maintaining around a 56 mid split throughout the back half of this 500. Yeah, if he puts together another solid 100 like that, he's definitely going to be low, low 4:30s. So he doesn't look like he's fading much. He's Still got some white water behind him. Only just over 50 yards left to go. There's the bell. Moving into second in lane number three, Andrew Seitz trying to separate himself now by over a body length over uh, Jorgensen up there in the top. So he was 56 on his third 100, around a 56 on his fourth 100. Let's see what Rigert's got here on his final 100. He's got... Just over 12 and a half yards to go, and it's Joe Riggert now coming under the flags and into the wall with another championship on the weekend. 4.32.47, a terrific time for Riggert and great a great way to end out the weekend. Great swim. Touching second is Seitz with a 4.37.17, and in for third up there in lane number seven, Adam, Adam Jorgensen, 4.40.27.